All right, guys, I uh, just uh, wanted to go over kind of a really cool setup for camping. Um, this uses a combination of several things. So first of all, starting with this easy up, it's a commercial grade 10 by 10 straight leg uh, canopy. And you see these all over the place uh, provide shade for picnics and all of that. Uh, they do come with wall kits, but the, they, most of them don't have a floor. And so this guy attaches to an easy, eye, uh, easy up. Uh, pop up and we'll go through that to show you but you can see that gives you a full 10 by 10 base uh, and a real six it's a six foot plus center uh, complete with windows doors bug screens you name it and so we'll go on that in a second but you can see that this basically just uses a combination of clips that go around with elastic clips that go on the uprights and different structures as well as uh, center pieces here, uh, little quick fastener clips. So, so really installation on this is super fast. And then they have uh, down here in the bottom, they have these little uh, like um, bungee style clips that go into the foot of that. So really it gives you a super solid tent. Um, great coverage, as you can see the overhang here uh, it's not going to allow rain on a straight rain. Obviously, if rain's blowing sideways, that might be a little different, but that's that's pretty much anywhere you go camping. Definitely shed, and you've got enough of almost even a porch overhang underneath it. Um, and then back here on the back side, I also use a uh, setup uh, to anchor these things. One of my favorite pieces of camping equipment happens to be the anchors that I use, that's these guys. So yeah, one of my uh, favorite uh, camping uh, equipment pieces is the are these ground anchors. And these guys uh, basically just auger right into the ground. They come with this uh, T-handle tool that you can use to, you know, uh, drive this uh, into the ground using this. Might take you a little while, but you certainly could do it. I use my uh, impact driver, and of course that uh, makes a short work out of it. Uh, it's harder to do one-handed than it looks. So that guy goes in there super tight. As you can see, I've already got this one done. Using these uh, reflective line, if you can look in there, it's got reflective line. So if you're walking around camp with a headlamp on, you're gonna see that before you trip over it. And that uh, simply, uh, attaches here to the top and you're going to hold that in super tight but anyway the tent setup is really nice um, you can see how it attaches there's no structure to the actual tent no uh, rods or poles or anything it all just uses the easy up uh, as the structure so super solid super tall uh, a lot of complaints people have tents is that you have to hunch over um, i'm under six foot tall so it's not that way for me and I think it's a couple inches over six feet. So really nice on the inside, super spacious. You have a, a really four windows, three windows and a big door that can also be a window. And you can see these guys uh, just simply zip open. And now you have uh, more airflow and more things to take a look at. It has, uh, pouches here to put things like your cell phones, watches, jewelry, anything that you want to take off leave, and keep off off the ground. And for camping, I don't go anywhere without my cot system. So this is a Coleman XL cot. Um, it uh, is um, really sturdy. You literally could play the drums on it. It does take a little bit of work to put it together just because of that. And then I also use it in conjunction with that Teton mattress pad. So a combination of this really thick uh, sleeping bag, that cot, and that mattress uh, just does a great job. My favorite feature of a cot is that you're not on the ground. And the older you get, sometimes the further that ground seems away. So super comfy, keeps you off the ground, and you're able to, uh, in this big of tent, I could easily get two of these in here. I'd turn it the other way so I'd have an aisle going right down the middle, but I've got it in the back of it right now just for solo camping. And then there in the corner, another nice piece of equipment is that little heat hawk. Uh, this guy is indoor safe, 
but as you can see with all of this ventilation in here I wouldn't worry too much about that anyway but uh, it's always it's always be better to be safe than sorry so you always want to check your capacity make sure uh, you're not getting too many uh, exhaust fumes in here but these burn super efficient and therefore you don't have uh, the risk for indoor uh, carbon monoxide poisoning and then I have this fun guy which is a fan slash light and it's also solar powered I've got it hanging up on this hook that's on the inside so you can see it as a light but really quick I can just take it off and it becomes a fan um, in, a, in a hurry you just simply pull it out and you can select which speed you want that fan to go uh, I can turn that light off the light also gives you a little if you want a strobe light party going on um, but I can get that fan going super high. You can probably hear that now. Definitely feel it. And it has a solar panel on the back to uh, charge the panel. So anyway, just a, a handful of things that I think will make your camping uh, a very enjoyable experience. And you can see I can set that fan down right in front of me. I can feel that blowing real hard right where I'm at. So anyway, a fun tent, a really nice setup. Um, again, uh, two pieces, the Easy Up Commercial uh, pop-up canopy com combined with the lower half of this, which is a, a 10 by 10 tent. 10 by 10 by six and a half uh, gives you a really nice uh, solid camping style tent to keep you dry, keep you out of the elements. So 